We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. What's up? This is Nick Young of the LA Lakers. You rocking at IE Sportsnet. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are live from the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know what? It comes to Inland Empire Sports. The conversation starts and stops right here. And we're really excited. We've been talking about this, this fine young gentleman for, what, I, I think that whole run last year when he was at North, uh, Eternal was talking about it. We're joined in studio by UCR Basketball. Riverside native, Riverside legend. I'm so happy to Kimbe uh, is on from UCR basketball, and we don't have to say Riverside legend and say this guy here. He always tries to say that he <laughs> let him know who the the Riverside legend. is. <laughs> <laughs> the Kimbe man, thank you for uh, for waking up, uh, coming on the show. We appreciate it, sir. Uh, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. So, um, um, talk to us real quick, the uh, Kimbe, because you got a chance to uh, uh, obviously uh, play with uh, under Coach Barty. Uh, JW North. Uh, what, what school did you go to? Deci- well, hey, look, don't get me. <laughs> uh, hey, what, here's what I can tell you. He's from Downey. Yeah. So if, if 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 we want to, you can just push him right out the door. And we can have a real local conversation about you know about the Riverside, about thing. the Bell Town. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, but at any rate, uh, Dikembe, talk to us a little bit about that that last season you had over at North, where you guys were able to. Uh, had a 30, uh, 30 and five season for your senior year, uh, and and also you guys have, you guys were able to win some CIF championships there. Talk to us a little bit about that senior season for you. Uh, it was a very memorable experience being under Coach Barty, just a legendary coach, and not just preaching principles on the court but off the court. So winning the CIF uh, championship was very important. I mean, not for for me, but for the city of Riverside, and. You just form a bond with those teammates that last for a very long time. Still keep in touch with them. That's Still nice. Still my brothers. That's nice. That's good stuff. And then uh, now, you know, you making that transition from UCR. I mean, when I tell you you're a stone's throw away from, from you know, now from JW North, now going to UCR, talk to us a little bit about that decision um, and, and why it was important for you to, uh, you know, matriculate and go on uh, with your basketball career over at UCR. I truly felt it was the best decision for me with the coaching staff, with the pieces they have over there. I mean, our record this year didn't define us, so it's a lot. It's just a learning process, and we're going to keep moving forward. Right. And that's my goal. I heard that. And once again, we're joined in studio by UCR point guard, Dikembe Martin. And you know what? Uh, Eternal butchered up your – you, you got to make sure to put respect on it. Go ahead, man. So when, while he was there, he won four league titles, two CIF championships. Um, he was all league. Uh, He was a league MVP and the CIF 1AA Player of the Year. Wow. One thing I want to talk about is, interesting fact I found out about you is your dad went to UCR. Yeah, he did. How cool is that? Uh, It's very cool. You see him sporting his UCR. Right, right. (laughs) right. You're going to hear him at every game. Oh, yeah, coming to the dinner table with the UCR jersey on. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That's that's, that's a unique thing. And, you know, one thing we were talking about off air, when when I've I've read up about you and got all the information, like I said, Eternals, he's watched your career for a long time. Um, he we we saw Barty at the Riverside Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. Very respectful guy, great coach. Press Enterprise wrote a great article about you when you committed to UCR, and they said you may be the biggest recruit in the school history. How, how great was it for you to stay home and stay in Riverside? Like you said, you're still around your friends and your family. It's an easy drive for everyone to come see you see you play. Yeah, it's a it's a great experience just seeing the community come out, just being a part of the community, and just trying to make a change in the program. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, it's a great experience being around. I can't complain. There you go. And then one last thing I wanted to ask you. Uh, I know I want to ask something. Now, I'm looking at the NCAA tournament. Uh, you were a highly recruited point guard at JW North. And then when I sit back and I just look at college basketball, uh, we had Jordan McLaughlin on the show. He, he went to Etiwanda High School, Lonzo Balls at uh, UCLA. And you guys actually faced each other earlier in the year. It, has this become the area of the point guard? Um, it could be. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, mean, I love watching both of those guys play, uh-huh. and I wouldn't leave out uh, my guy Cedric. He's gonna make a oh, big yeah. impact mm-hmm. at Utah. Oh yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. Saw him The other day, so I yeah, gave yeah. him a shout out. But it's, it's Cedric, a lot of point Cedric guards Cedric from uh, from the Centennial Cedric, yeah. right? Right. Okay. There so, you go. I would say seeing those guys and then working around guys here, it just it really does help. 
Then there's a lot of players around. There's a lot of pl- people to help you get better. Yeah, yeah. And, and now another thing, as you mentioned, t- tell us real quick, if you don't mind, what was one of the biggest games that you played? I mean, because we got a chance. We had um, we had uh, Simone. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Deku. Deku. I want to make sure we say her name right. Uh, uh, Miss Simone Deku on us. She was talking about how she got a chance to play in Kansas. and, and with, you know, some She huge, went off. She yeah, did, yeah. Yeah. And she does some huge arenas. Maybe uh, share your experience because I know that has been crazy coming from high school, making that transition now to playing some of these big arenas. Yeah, I would say the first one we played in Utah. Just looking at the floor, the arena, the way wow. it's set up, just mm-hmm. the fans, you can hear them almost on the court. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's an experience that you just have to really soak in and right. enjoy. Right. At the same time, you got to fight. I mean, it's a war going out right. there, but you got to enjoy the experience being on those big stages, playing at UCLA. I mean, it's experiences that last a lifetime. So Certainly. You just really have to. And, and then another, another quick question. Obviously, um, uh, as Coach B said, you know, you've, you've gotten that chance to uh, go from north to over here. I know a lot of times that's a lot of pressure from, you know, you being in the hometown and having to, you know, folks are thinking, because again, obviously with you going to UCR, there's expectations. So tell us about how you're handling those expectations and how you're preparing to just to make sure that you're doing the things that you know how to do. Um, I wouldn't say it's pressure. It's just hard work and yeah. just leading by example and just keep working to get better every single day. That's, nice. all, that's all I could do. Heard that, man. That's good stuff. Now, your freshman season at, at UCR just ended. Your team, it didn't end the way you guys wanted it to. You you had a 7-21 campaign, but when you but you were what, one, one of the bright spots on that team. As a freshman, you averaged 9.4 points per game, 2.2 rebounds per game, and 2.6 assists per game. Give us your thoughts on, on this year um, and what your, your thoughts are going forward. You know, being the point guard, you're, you're pretty much becoming the leader of the team. Yeah. So just accept a bigger role. Like, I hear the stats, but... I just have a job to be more of a leader and mm-hmm. to win more games. Right. And that's what we're going to work for. I heard that. It starts soon as spring this 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 year. You can get so after it. It starts early. Yeah, good stuff, man. And, and like I said, man, congratulations. I mean, you know, one one of the things about it is we got a chance to uh, uh, talk to the athletic director over there, A.D. Jones, and she really, you know, talks about you favorably about, you know, you guys and, and just a, you, you being part of that new regime that's going to come there at UCR. So, again, congratulations and, and keep up the good work, sir. Thank you, sir. And then when they get that 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 locker room done, it's going to be it's that that lounge. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Tell tell us a little bit about that. I know you're excited about you know because there's a lot of new stuff going on. I don't know if it's like because you came. I don't know if they (laughs) they sat you down. They were like, hold on, Dikembe, you coming? We got some stuff for you. Check out this floor plan. We were just waiting. We were just waiting. We were just waiting. (laughs) Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, About the locker room. Well, just about some of the new things that happened at UCR this period. Oh, a lot of new things happening with the new gym, our practice facilities. I mean, the gear they give us—you gotta, you gotta enjoy it. Right. But you have to put the work in, as I said, <laughs> to enjoy those benefits. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. And what, what people don't know is the scholarship is renewable every year, so you gotta put in that work. <laughs> yeah. You gotta put in that work, man. Yeah, right. You have to have a little sit down with you real quick and say, "Well, you know what? We we did some evaluation." Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's good stuff. Now, now, um, obviously. Um, uh, I don't know if you have a dog in a fight, but uh, do you do you have? Are you pulling for anybody? You know, for, in the tournament at all? Or are you just kind of just sitting back watching the whole thing work out? I've kind of been sitting back just watching the thing work out. Yeah, but I do enjoy I, I do enjoy watching UCLA play because when I play with TJ Leaf on Compton Magic. Oh yeah, that's right. So that's right. yeah, yeah. I bet room for him at EK too. So yeah, yeah. I got a local yeah. guy. I mean, EK's a local guy. Right. But, and where's he from again? I'm sorry. Uh, EK's from Centennial as well. Yeah, that's right. So, right about that. Yeah. Part of the IE. Yeah. So I gotta watch him. So, so, so those are a lot of talent. So those there. are people that you've actually had experiences with. You know, these are people yes. that you got a chance to play play ball with and and so forth. So now, now about, about our guy Leaf. You know, is, is he the real deal? Because you got a chance to see him play. So in terms of your 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 perspective, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, the stats speak for themselves. Right. Uh, <laughs> did you see, did you see that, that backdoor cut or that dunk he did the other day? Yeah. And, and he's like, he's he like, had his chin <laughs> up on the rim. I, you know, full disclosure, I'm a USC fan, but I like what UCLA is doing. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, say that again. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, hear you. What'd you say? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, there you uh, go. Uh-huh. And you know, another thing that I really liked about, uh, uh, once again, we're uh, we're joined in studio by UCR basketball point guard, the Kimbe Martin on IE Sportsnet, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. We actually had a chance. AD Jones had us come out. And we caught one of the girls' games this year. Um, and one thing I like is we saw you there. So you were actually supporting the girls and and, uh, and enjoying – you, you seem like a gym rat. You just love some basketball. Yeah. But uh, – and Skylar Lewis, uh, she was on our show. She was in our All-Star game. Indeed. Talk about Skylar. I mean, you guys are the freshmen coming in. and I mean, that's a lot of talent coming to UCR. It is. And her being from 
this area as well helps attract more talent for mm-hmm. this area which is always a good thing and i've seen her progress a lot and just grow because before i mean she's just watching her play she's uh-huh. growing a lot so yeah. watching her play this year definitely most i see them play and i i want to get on the court and i yeah. want to play right, right. yeah and you know full scores the funniest thing in, in the history of IE sports net her so i mean her mother played basketball right so yes. when we had her her on the show her mother brings her because she was still i think she was in 11th grade or i want to say grade. yeah something like that and her mother looks me up and down like hey i can lace up right now i'm yeah. like i don't play ball yeah, yeah no, <laughs> mom, mom's was like yeah we can get out so but yeah no again again we thank you so much man appreciate it We're, no we gotta i think we gotta real, real one quick question now oh, now time. this is this is important uh Dikembe, man you know, um, uh, we Riverside to Riverside. Riverside right? to Riverside. Who's your NBA team? I'm rocking with the Cavs. Uh, I'm a LeBron oh, man. fan. Okay, so, I, I can get that. I, I, I came from. They were born. My brother's sister were born in Ohio. So okay, 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 okay. No, you are. I, I, I like that. You know, because because you know we need to get. I'm, I'm glad you helped us out because yeah. when you first said the Cavs, I was like, Ugh, yeah. you know what I mean. It yeah. was yeah. it was a little deflating. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's but, different but, with this generation though. But uh, and you know, what's more important? You know what position did Kimmy play? Yes. The greatest point guard ever. Please let us know. Oh, oh there we go. Please, hold on. Please hey, let hold us on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take your Before you answer. Take your time. Uh, uh, hey, holla, think about it. Think about it. Holla, give us some drum stuff. Yeah, give us some you drum real think quick. About this. Give us some drum roll real quick because it's a very. So, again, we got the Kimbe Martin, uh, JW North alum, star. Legend. There's so, many, play, there's play, so play. many eras. It's hard to pick. <sighs> no, no, no. I know. Just take your time. <laughs> we don't, no, just take your time. <laughs> and, and, and now. There, 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 there is a correct answer, though. Right, right. So, I digress. We'll defer to you, sir. Ah, uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, Magic. There, there you go. go. All right, that's oh, what I'm talking man. about. You guys are hey, doing it right over there. Martin. The, the oh, Martin. What's your father's name? There is a guy, Jelani Bakari. Jelani, brother, you are doing well with this young man. Yes, yes, you yes, he is. You are doing well. Yes, Barty did a great job. <laughs> It took him a little bit, but he got it. That's the right answer. The came back. Thank Keep you. up the good work. You just probably sitting there thinking these guys are kind of old. <laughs> this is, they look they about. They look like they, they look like about sixty. Shorts. They look like about sixty. They look like they was in an area with a tight, tight, tight Did short. Did you just say yep? <laughs> 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 but again, man, thank you so much, sir. Keep up the good work. You're doing great for Riverside. As you said, just like, just as you were saying, uh, Skyler doing her thing is great for, for people, for the recruits, for the girls. Yes. Same thing applies for the boys, man. So keep up the good work. And again, we again when we we got news that you were coming to yourself, we were really excited. So, man, so keep up the good work, and uh, you're doing a great job over there, Absolutely. sir. Absolutely. Uh, we'll do, and I'll keep working. Yeah, there you that's, go. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. And, and that's how you said the person that broke to me that you were committed to UCR was 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 eternal. He, yeah, man, he was fired up about that. This, this guy lives and breathes Riverside. Side, baby. So, that's how we do it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a proud stuff. Ramona Ram. So hey, you know how we do. Look at he like ah. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Hey, we, you go. hey, we. I know when you were there. I know y'all used to run up. The, you, got, you guys probably beat him pretty bad, huh? I never played him. D- good. See, thank you. Let's leave it there. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't even. Thank you. I'm glad you didn't. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, no, but again, uh, keep up the good work, sir. And uh, peace, man. We about to get out of here, man. Let's Enjoy your Saturday, sir. There you go. You too. Thank Absolutely. you. The 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 star. The man that is going to bring UCR basketball to promise the point guard the future, the Kimbe Martin, joining us on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach Bina Turner. We are so appreciative. UCR has been so good to us. They have really been, man. They've been great. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.